Hey everyone, this is Dusko Makas That Gamer, and this is Hakyo Oni. Now this is a Korean fan game based off of Oni, and this one's supposed to be pretty scary. I don't know too much about it, but I do know that there's not a proper English translation of this game. However though, there are uh, there's a few helpful guides on how to get through the game if you get stuck for uh, English speakers, as well as a synopsis of the plot, which I'm going to use to my advantage as I go straight into this. We'll start this right off the bat. Uh, here we go. Now, to talk a little bit about this game as the opening plays, uh, right now here's what it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be saying about the story of Synopsis. The op I'm just going to read uh, the pure guide right now as this goes on. The opening monologue introduces a number of motives. It questions the reality of experienced events, posing the question of whether to believe in something fantastical that happens, or just write it off as a dream. And that is a very interesting topic in itself. Is something that is surreal or abstract to our own personal thought process really, you know, is, it, is there a possibility something like that could be real? Is it just led to our imaginations, our dreams, our whatever delusions possibly? Still though, we begin the story with the, sto with the man named Bak Uin Hayoki. He wakes up in the morning and shortly after he finds there's a knock on his front door uh he decides to go check it out as right now we have control of the character he doesn't have too much else to say uh this is apparently his lovely almost barren empty living room however though he decides to go outside and check out what's going on with his friends and he finds it's his three friends he seems surprised at their arrival haven't forgotten the group's prior arrangements the three friends are disappointed at this, and Wu Jack Sayak, which is probably one of the two girls, I'm guessing, based on the name, uh, reminds Oyan Hayoki that he promised they would go explore the ruins that morning. Lee Ji Hyun and Kim NGT Sayoki and call him a coward. Oyan Hayoki quickly assures them that he's not afraid and that they can leave immediately. Hey, I know, let's go straight into that nightmare scenario. That sounds like a bunch of fun, right? The four are seen standing outside an abandoned house. They enter and exploit the foyer. Jay Yoyoki comments on how it was fortunate that the front door was unlocked. Inji and Jayinki are a bit frightened by the house's dark and gloomy appearance. I mean, I have to admit it is a very dark, gloomy... Ooh, Oyoni's getting up in here. Suddenly, a large, bloody monster breaks through the front door. It chatters at them, and the terrified group splits up and flees. Ian Hayuk stops to catch his breath in an unknown room of the house. He calms himself and rests. He takes a peek at a journal on the desk, which we are about to do so. Oh boy. What else than Oyoni fan game time? All right. So after that synopsis of what was going on, uh, that's not a journal. It's a fucking what? Uh, it looks like a head statue or something. I guess this journal over here. Okay. Here we go. He checks his journal on the desk and all that. He takes a peek at the journal on the desk, where a worried author narrates a story of being trapped in that very house and chased by a monster. Ian Huak realizes that the diary's author went through the same experience he and his friends are. The second half of the book is torn out. Uh oh, a book that strangely resembles reality. Oh, uh, well, so that's kind of interesting. There's a book which shares the same sort of fate as our main character. Of course, that's kind of creepy in itself, but not to mention, of course, we have a twisted Oyoni, which is known as the Hayoki Oni, in here with us. Uh oh The door seems to have unlocked, I'm guessing, and time to stop looking at that. Now, this is going to be an interesting game, because to explain what's going on, I can't read the things that I'm observing, like a typical game. Which means I am somewhat going to have to rely on both what this says and just generally exploring, figuring out stuff for myself. Now then, I'm going to go through this pretty thoroughly. 
I'm kind of, I'm already kind of nervous to be honest. I mean, it has the exact same audio as Ioni. I think maybe the sound, the wind sound that's playing, is more vicious than it typically is in Ioni. But all right, let's see where this is going. All right, it seems that uh, his friends have disappeared. That sort of shit happens. Uh, there seems to be an abyss crossing our way, which means we probably need a board or something to walk across. That would just be my guess, though. This is actually a pretty long hallway. Oh, boy. Why are the hallways in here so long? Also, is there a run button? No, there is not. Oh, boy. Uh, what? Is it telling I can't go up here? Yeah, it seems like I can't go up here yet. Uh, how about the front door? I guess I need to leave. Uh-oh. Seems like unexpectedly to see these type of things, we're locked in. Oh boy, seems like we need to find a way outside the house. Yeah, I know the door's locked. We sort of figured that out right now. Uh, door? Oh. He apparently senses something. Uh, what's in here? Oh, it's the girl. Why, hello, our girl companion. Oh, uh, alright. Uh, is there anything story-wise that mentions me, me, and the girl? I fucking need to read through things, but... He explores the empty house and finds Inji in a room. They have a brief conversation, and Rise Inji is about to tell you and where the others ran off to, the lights go out. Oh, boy. You're about to tell me where he is. And there we go. We hear some noises in the dark. I, I. And suddenly she's gone. Alright, is there anything else inside here? I'm getting kind of nervous. Uh, so apparently the whole story is going on. No, I cannot read that. It's a whole lot. Of, I, I don't want to stand too close to those. Fuck. Is there anything in here? Guess there's nothing here? God. I'm starting to remember why these type of games go. <laughs> For me, especially since this game has that shadowy effect. Which wasn't in Oyoni. I, I I mean it's it's kind of late for me to notice that, but I'm just starting to notice that. And oh boy, go over this way. What's in here? The door is locked. What else would it be? Right. All right. So there's only one way to go, and that's forward. All right. What's down here? Locked, locked, locked. The only way to go is upstairs. Locked. Why is everything locked? Did I miss something in the room I was just in? I don't. Where's the staircase I came from? I guess there's something in here I must have missed. Let's see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Anything hidden inside one of these table things? I mean, these type of games always have weird things involving uh, weird puzzles. I hope this game doesn't have so much bullshit puzzles. Given I have a walkthrough, if I need to, because I know that I can't read, which is kind of a must in these type of things, so I've got a little bit of an alternative to that. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. Okay, I guess there's nothing up here. So is there anything down here I need to do? I mean like is there another door? Got all these long hallways. The person who made this is really like knowledgeable on how to make things eerie in a dark corridor. Long hallways of nothing doesn't sound that scary, but it's surprisingly effective here. What is this? Oh, 
Uh, go to the kitchen. Let's see. Yep. So there's an envelope here. What's it say? Let's see. Uh, let's see. The author writes about how he found his friend, but the lights went out, and she was dragged away screaming. Oyen Hayoki is again shocked at the similarities between the diary and reality. Oh boy. Finding creepy notes related to what we're going through at the very moment in real life. I'm going to assume this is a save game. Yep, I'm going to be saving my game a lot. I can already tell this. <laughs> uh, how many of you guys have played Ioni or Ioni fan games? Uh, this is an honest question to the live stream people. So the people on YouTube, I am live streaming this at this very moment. And I, even though I'm live streaming, I'm nervous. I mean, of course, it's just a sound audio clip that's playing. None. These games have a really bad feature. Uh, do you guys know much about them, at least? Oyoni games have not a really bad feature. They're quite effective, but a feature where the monster can pop up at any time after it's been triggered. And so I know the further in I go, Oyoni's going to be triggered and he's going to start popping up whenever the fuck he pleases. And I'm not looking forward to this already. So this game does seem quite a bit scarier than the original Oyoni already. But we have to do what we have to do. I just have a bad feeling that things are about to go down south really quickly. And this isn't just because of the walkthrough or anything. I'm not reading ahead as best as I can. I just have that really bad feeling. Is there anything over here? Oh, there's a restroom over here. I guess there's nothing in it. Nothing inside the toilet at the very least. Why is there like an ocean sound? Like, besides the usual dark air noise, there's like this ocean sound that's playing with things. They're making things a bit more... Uh, it's paranoia fuel. That's what this game always is. Paranoia fuel. And then, of course, jump scares. Door is locked. Door is locked. They're not locked. Uh, oh, this door was unlocked. Even though it was locked when we were just around here earlier. Is there just one of those pushing puzzles? We only had a lot of pushing puzzles. Huh. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. Anything under the bed? Oh, yeah, here we go. Something under the bed. That was actually just a guess. Uh, guess we pulled out something. What's, it, what's he reading? Is, is this left anywhere? Oh boy. What am I reading? I, this one isn't even the story covered. I'm just reading about it, apparently. I guess I pick something up. I guess I can look at my inside my inventory. I don't even know what this is. What? App? So it's a part of some sort of puzzle. Uh, that's cool. Get this. I guess I'll have to look into that later. Uh, can't go down here, so there's the way out. Was there anything in here I missed? Well, I guess probably not, because the door did open up. No, but I didn't check this stuff, did I? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I remember I checked this very thoroughly, in fact. So, it, that bed scene just kind of confirmed to me that this game's going to have bullshit, find the fucking corner of the room puzzles. This is not going to be fun. <laughs> I'm already kind of regretting making this game an option right now. But, I did say I would. I'll let you guys judge after I get to the point I'm like... <laughs> Going back up here? Oh, something's been added here. Uh, actually, this is the diary which I read, so it was the letter I read earlier. I don't know, so I guess I was a bit ahead of myself there. The diary there is answering questions about, uh, this is the thing where it says the girl was dragged off screaming. Similarities between the book and what is here. There's also a PS that I guess I couldn't read, but that's okay. We got the information that there's a book that is very similar to what's happening to us in real life. Why is there a book that's telling the story of our lives? Who the fuck knows? 
Someone just started off in that direction. Didn't look as big as the Oni character, so, I mean, like, you know, the Onis, it looked just like human sized. Which means he should probably not go investigate, but we have to probably. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh my, oh my. Hey, you want me to do something else, stupid? Oh, you do? Great. Let me just go grab my stuff and we'll get ready for adventure. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Let's go. Is this open now? No, the door is locked. I wonder what could have made it lock like that. Uh oh. Oh boy, I think a monster just appeared. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, here we go, Aeoni time. I was already caught. Alright, uh, luckily that wasn't as terrifying as I thought it would be. Uh, so luckily I saved right over here. So I, I understand I get past him immediately, but let's just leave right over here. Save right here. Doors locked. We hear something. Uh oh. That is one bloody oni. It's on its way after us. Ah, how do I get past that? Like that one, it seems a little bit hard to get past. The music seems to be a little bit remastered from the original game too. Like, it sounds a bit not like it sounds the same. Both the wind noise and all that, but it's like. They added some effects to it or something. It also apparently makes a screechy noise whenever it appears, so yeah. I... This one seems faster than the original Oyoni. At least it seems to be around my tail a lot more than the original game. Why the fuck did it just stand there? <laughs> okay. So that's one escape from Mr. Oni. Oh boy. Alright, so now that we have that, luckily it wasn't as scary as I thought it was. What are we supposed to be doing though? That room is locked. Maybe I'm supposed to go back the way I came. In these type of Ioni games, going back the way you came is sort of a norm. So four years later. Yeah, I knew it. And here's a character. What's the story say about this character? Let's see. Uh... Hmm. All right, I'm catching up to where we are in the storyline. Once he loses the monster and reunited with Jay Suk, the two share a short conversation. Jay Suk is terrified and stresses that they need to quickly find the others and leave. Oin Hook agrees and the reasons that it would be faster if they split up. Jay Suk agrees and then the two go their separate way. Are they idiots? Ugh. Hey guys, you know what? There's a giant bloody monster inside this incredibly dark ruined mansion castle thing. Let's split up and search for clues. Uh, hey, that sounds like a brilliant idea. I've never seen that go wrong. Don't you know? Don't I know? All right. So apparently he also gives me an item, which he hasn't done yet, but you can talk to me a lot if you want to, though. This isn't going to do me much good. There, you ran off like a bitch! I do have an item in my inventory I didn't have before, though, so I guess he did give it to me. Anything else in here? Unfortunately, this is also an Oyoni. Can, oh, here we go. There's an item over here. Uh, what is this? I guess we'll find out in a second. Picked up some form of item. Now let's get on and move on before, you know, that other new Oni that's in the new neighborhood in the Oni-ness comes and gives a nice greeting. Uh, what, what is in my inventory? I have two new items. App? What was the first one then? I don't know what the first item is. This is... Nye would be... What are these... I, 
I get it. I don't get it at all. App, not what people do. Alright.